This is Los Milutaya's second home, a concrete court in Kinshasa, the capital of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The 16-year-old spends most of her time practicing. The hard work has a purpose. Losmi believes a basketball scholarship overseas is her only way to a good education. She says reaching her goal of being an IT specialist is almost impossible if she stays in the Congo. The high school junior's tuition costs about $750. That's almost six times what the average Congolese household makes annually. Losmi's coaches pay for her tuition. She's one of the lucky ones. Seven out of ten Congolese girls don't go to school. Those who do have a hard time staying there. Here at L'Ecole Masamba, teachers say they see more girls drop out of high school than boys. The chances for a girl like Losmi to finish high school and go on to get a college education are pretty slim. The Congo's constant warfare has ravished the country, both socially and economically. Some girls turn to prostitution for money. On appelle ici phénomène tiel pour la jeune fille. Elle, elle nourrit la famille. The Congo Leadership Initiative and other nonprofit groups provide guidance and support to Kinshasa's youth. These organizations say they've asked the government for financial help, but to no avail. Youth Minister Banza Mukalai stresses that the government would like to help, but just can't afford to. On est confronté à des priorités prioritaires qu'à un moment, ce qui peut être réservé à telles actions apparaît minime. Losmi will temporarily leave all of this behind. Her hard work has paid off, and she's earned her basketball scholarship. She'll study at Arizona Western College starting in May. In Kinshasa, I'm Sarah Kazadi.